Hello, my smart and talented friends, and welcome to the Global Science Network. Today, I'm going to show you how to take four individual full adders and turn them into this 4-bit calculator. That way, we'll be able to add two 4-bit numbers together. In the last video, I showed you how computers add numbers using this 4-bit calculator. Each full adder was actually built using the same configuration. Today, I'm going to show you how to build this 4-bit calculator, and each full adder actually uses a different logic gate configuration. At the Global Science Network, we focus on three main projects. First, solving the world's energy problems with a novel renewable energy technology. Second, solving unified field theory. And third, creating non-biological human consciousness. If this sounds like something that you would be interested in working on, check out our website, gsnetwork.com, subscribe to our email list there, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you watched our video on how to build a full adder, we went through in detail the different configurations of these full adders. And now we're going to talk about how to wire them together so that they can actually be turned into this 4-bit calculator. Here we have a basic circuit diagram of the different types of logic gates, and we'll go through this real quick. So first we have the inputs. These LED lights represent the inputs, and we can see the LED lights. The switches actually change the inputs, so we can see that we have four switches and four switches for a 4-bit input and a 4-bit input. And then for the outputs, we have five LED lights to represent the outputs. And then here are the five LED lights that are the outputs. The value of the outputs are 1, 2, 4, 8, and 16. The value of the inputs are 1, 2, 4, and 8, 1, 2, 4, and 8. Now let's look at how it's actually wired together. We have inputs 1A and 1B coming into the first full adder, which is made with two exclusive OR gates, two AND gates, and an OR gate. So right here you can see the first full adder, and this chip actually has four exclusive OR gates on it, but we use two of those. This one has four AND gates, and we use two of those. This one has four OR gates, and we use one of those. And then we have inputs 2A and 2B that feed into the second full adder, which is also made with two exclusive OR gates, two AND gates, and an OR gate. So if you can look right here, we built these using individual transistors. So we have exclusive OR gate 1, exclusive OR gate 2, AND gate 1, AND gate 2, and then our OR gate. Then we have inputs 4A and 4B, which come down into this third full adder, which is made with nine NAND gates. One NAND gate is made with two transistors, so we have NAND gate 1, NAND gate 2, NAND gate 3, etc. the whole way down. Then we have input 8A and 8B, which come down into the fourth full adder, which is made with nine NOR gates. One NOR gate is also two transistors, so we have NOR gate 1, NOR gate 2, NOR gate 3, etc. The first four LEDs are all the sum bits, so these first four LEDs are the sum bit, and the fifth LED is the last carry out. So this one is the last carry out. The other carry outs go out the full adder and then they go into the carry in of the next full adder. So this one goes out the carry out and then it goes into the carry in. Same with this one, it goes out the carry out and then into the carry in. If you look at the circuit, this blue wire is the carry out and then it goes across this green wire and into the carry in. And then the carry out goes out this blue wire, across the green wire and into the carry in. And the same thing here, it goes out the blue wire into the green wire, and then into the carry-in slot. Right here we have the full circuit diagram. So you can see we have the three integrated circuits, and we have the three integrated circuits. This is full adder 2, but now we can actually see the individual transistors and all the resistor values. This is full adder 3 and 4, and the same thing. We show the individual transistors and the resistor values. Almost all of the resistor values are 2.2K. The exception are these two resistors right here are 1K, and the input resistors right here, right here, and right here are also 1K. If you're actually going to try and build this calculator, I recommend building each individual full adder and then wiring them together. I imagine it would be hard to actually look at the circuit and then copy exactly where all of these wires go, which is why it is nice to have the full circuit diagram. Now let's test to see if the circuit is working properly. We have a 4-bit input plus a 4-bit input. We'll just start with the simplest example, which is 1 plus 1, which is 2, which is 1, 0 in binary. And now we will go to 2 plus 2, so we're going to do 2 plus 2 equals 4, which is 1, 0, 0 in binary. 
And now we will go to the next one, which is 4 plus 4, which equals 8, which is 1000 zero, zero, zero in binary. And then we will do 8 plus 8. So we have 8 plus 8, which equals 16, which is 1000 zero, 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 zero in binary. We can also add 4 to each of these numbers. So now we have 12 plus 12 equals 24. Another cool thing to test is if we put 15 on here and zero on this one. So right now we have 15 plus zero equals 15. But now if we just add one, now we have 15 plus one equals 16. So whenever we added one, all of these LEDs shut off and this one turned on, which just looked kind of cool. Another good one to test is just to turn on all the switches. So right now we have 15 plus 15 equals 30. But this calculator can add up to 31, but we need to add in the carry in on this first full adder. So we have a carry in right here. So we'll place this resistor in the carry in slot, which is right here. So now we have 15 plus 15 plus one equals 31. And now all the LEDs are on. If we actually wanted to go to 32, we would have to add a sixth bit. And this calculator helps demonstrate one of the really cool things about digital logic. Even though each full adder is built using different logic gates and different components, they all function the same. So you can feed inputs into any of these full adders and you're going to get the same output. Now we have a solid understanding of how to build these 4-bit calculators and we're going to be working on turning these 4-bit calculators into a 4-bit computer. So if you want to watch the next video, you can click it right here.